Welcome to Healthy Living. I'm Lori Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Are you concerned about the amount of chemicals you're exposed to? If so, you're not alone. Health experts warn us about toxins in our cleaning products, stuff we put on our bodies, even our medications and food. The good news is there are easy ways to replace them using essential oils. Like millions of Americans, Sarah Hilburn struggled with emotional issues that led to physical ones. I had gotten to the point where my anxiety and depression was keeping me from sleeping at night. I would spend several days out of the week just being awake the entire night, being awake the entire day. Instead of seeking a prescription for Ambien or Lunesta, she turned to lavender oil. I can honestly say that essential oil saved my life. Putting the oil in a vaporizer next to her bed helped her begin getting more rest and in turn feeling happier. I diffuse the lavender usually by itself just because it's very calming and it smells really good and it makes me sleepy. Sarah also found other benefits. She puts cooling peppermint oil on her feet when she's feeling overheated and credits rose oil for her flawless complexion. In his best-selling book, The Healing Power of Essential Oils, Dr. Eric Zielinski explains how to use dozens of these natural extracts. You know, the Bible says the leaves of the trees are for the healing of the nations. I can think of no other substance on the planet that epitomizes that like essential oils. Essential oils come from distilling parts of plants like the root, bark, flowers, and leaves. When you inhale citrus essential oils specifically, like orange, neroli, bergamot, lime, and lemon, it's been shown clinically to help decrease anxiety, decrease depression, and boost your mood. A lot of research being done with cinnamon and blood pressure balancing. So whether someone's diabetic, someone's obese, there's a lot of things you could do. Even many pills we take mimic what's in nature. Aspirin, for example, is modeled after willow bark, which people used for centuries as a pain reliever. So next time your son or daughter, your grandson, your granddaughter gets a fever, you can apply some diluted peppermint or orange oil on his or her back and you'll see the fever go down. Next time you get a sore throat, you could gargle with a little bit of myrrh essential oil and water. Next time you get a headache, you can apply some pain relieving oils like frankincense or copaiba. And benefits go beyond relying on the medicine cabinet. Dr. Zelinsky and his wife Sabrina use essential oils instead of store-bought synthetics throughout their home, from body lotion to deodorant and beyond. Sabrina makes her own laundry detergent using ylang ylang. No chemicals and about 20 bucks to wash 150 loads. So when you're thinking about not just um, your kids, but your animals as well, it's really important to choose the right things when you're cleaning. That includes mixtures for dusting, cleaning glass, granite, and even tougher jobs. But what about like your all-purpose cleaner? What about, you know, my stove? Is this really gonna work on the stove? Yes. Usually it has an orange, a clove, a cinnamon, a eucalyptus. It smells amazing. I mean, wait till you smell this. You're going to be like, wow, that smells like Thanksgiving. Mm. In just minutes, you can whip up hand sanitizer. All you need is a two ounce glass spritzer bottle, 10 drops of essential oil. My favorite is lemon. Then you need 10 drops of witch hazel, 10 drops of a grain alcohol, and then you fill the rest of the bottle up with either purified or distilled water. Shake and go. Since essential oils are highly concentrated, it's best to dilute them using what's known as a carrier oil, like jojoba. And watch out for fakes. It is absolutely necessary to only use pure essential oils. What most people don't recognize is what a lot of these manufacturers are doing are synthetically adding different chemicals to essential oils and to other compounds to make them smell sweeter. And that's where you get your plugins from, your aerosols. And they have been linked to a number of diseases, neurotoxicity, cancer, we're talking Alzheimer's and dementia. He recommends organic oils indigenously sourced with a batch report showing they're the real deal. So these days, Americans increasingly turn to natural, wonderful smelling essential oils for healing, personal care, and around the house. 
And joining me now are Eric and Sabrina Zielinski. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having We're us. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, you guys do such amazing work trying to show people how essential oils can be used in every area of life. And you now have a brand new book, The Essential Oils Diet, and you incorporate essential oils into healthy foods. Why are essential oils important to add to foods? Well, one thing is, is that we use herbs and spices all the time. Mm -hmm. But sometimes with the essential oils, you're adding even a different component. You can get a medicinal benefit, but also an awesome culinary benefit as well. The flavor is just so much oh, yeah. stronger, isn't I mean, it? Just one or two drops of an essential oil can equal up to a tablespoon of an herb or a spice. That's, a, that's very concentrated. And you have compiled some amazing recipes, and each and every one uses essential oils. And you're going to show us how to make one of my favorites, a Mexican casserole with essential oils. Absolutely. All right. Well, this southwestern casserole, we're going to start with our um, black beans, our refried black beans. And would you like to do the honors? Certainly. If I don't eat them on the way, I love <laughs> black beans. Yes. And you're just going to press Spread it all out. the way in. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, Lori, we focus on bioactive compounds. And research has shown that a diet low in bioactive compounds, which are plant-based chemicals that are filled with um, antioxidants and other just immune-boosting supplements, can really help us be healthy. Mm -hmm. And so a diet low in bioactive compounds will affect us in a negative way. So that's what this diet is really all about. And this recipe, it's just filled with plant nutrition. Fantastic. Which takes us to our next yes. step is using the rice with the beans is going to make it more of a complete protein. Honey, do you want to go ahead and yes. put that in there? Look how nice they are to Love each other. Are you this nice to each other at home? Yes, Sometimes. and guess what? He is <laughs> the honesty. best, he's the best sous chef. So right. Mama Z knows what she does. So as long as you follow instructions, okay. it all turns out good. All right. All right, so the next step is our guacamole layer. And so what we're going to do oh, yes. is we're going to take, um, it calls for lemon or lime juice and lemon or lime essential oil. So what we're using, I like to alternate it so you get more well-rounded flavor. Mm -hmm. So we've got the lemon juice and the lime essential oil. Yep. So he's going to go ahead and smash that up for us, get that ready. And it's avocados are full of just, just healthy fats that are good for your brain health. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of this is good fat. It helps you lose weight. It's right. not the bad fat that people are worried about. Right, and it's too bad our viewers can't smell this because the oh. essential oils <laughs> in the lemon and the lime juice yeah. That you just put in there is amazing. Yes. That's really the kicker. It is. Well, while he's finishing that one, I'm going to talk about the next layer. And this is our homemade chili seasoning or taco mm -hmm. seasoning, mm -hmm. which is a standalone recipe. This is made with um, uh, grapeseed oil, vegan A's, and it's going to be it's a layer here, but you can use this as a chip or vegetable dip on its own. And the one problem is, is that so many taco and chili seasonings have sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So this one doesn't, and most of these ingredients you're going to have right in your pantry already. Mm -hmm. So this right. is your homemade taco seasoning, and I yes. love the container you have it in. It's so beautiful. But that's what you put in with the vegan mayonnaise called veganaise. Yes. All right. Ooh, those avocados look All wonderful. Right. All right. Would you like to do the honors sure. of this one? Sure. Veganaise with chili seasoning. So can you believe it that mm -hmm. lime essential oil? Ooh. Just smelling lime essential oil has been proven to stimulate what's known as lipolysis in the body. You start burning fat just by smelling lime. Really? And we like we like adding cilantro because a cilantro essential oil is so yummy. Mm -hmm. But that's been shown to fight candida, and so many people <gasps> battle with candida, mm -hmm. yes. which is a number one cause of weight gain for a lot of people, especially women. Mm -hmm. So you reconstitute these mm -hmm. recipes with the plant-based medicine. And it's like, wow, tastes good, and it has such a medicinal effect. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. You're putting on some yes. yummy. So this is a, um, a, uh, a layer that has the chilies and the tomatoes. So then we're going to finish it off with some of our awesome olives. And you could always use different kinds of olives as well. And um, then we top it off with a um, the diet cheese. Mm -hmm. And the cheese that you usually use, which uh, it's on the top of, we can yes. see it on the top of the castle, that is non-dairy cheese, right? Yes, it's actually a vegan cheese, so it's soy-free, it's dairy-free, it's allergy-friendly. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so we like that a lot. You know, things have come a long way in the last 10, 15 years, and especially with cheeses and alternate things that mm -hmm. for people who can't do dairy like me. Mm -hmm. And it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. It tastes fabulous, and our kids love it even. So this is the finished product. Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic. 
stick. You can have it hot or cold for, yes. for a dip. And uh, this recipe is in the Essential Oils Diet Cookbook. We're going to be right back with more from Eric and Sabrina Zielinski. Stay with us. And welcome back to Healthy Living. My guests today are Eric and Sabrina Zielinski, and their book is fantastic. The Essential Oils Diet, chock full of recipes that all include essential oils because they're amazingly delicious and nutritious. So these are some of the other items that you've already prepared for us. This is a matcha tea. Yes, that's my claim to fame, Lori, because most of all the recipes are Mama Z's. She allowed me to have one, and that's <laughs> it. Because I was on a coffee habit for a long time, and matcha green tea helped me kick the coffee habit. You know when you drink coffee, you, sometimes people spike, you get the jitters? You don't get that with matcha. It's whole leaf green tea filled with antioxidants shown to help burn fat and fight cancer. We add a little bit of peppermint and cinnamon bark essential oil. Mm. <gasps> Curbs hunger cravings, balances blood sugar, and it helps in so many ways. Yummy. Wonderful. Yep. And this is gorgeous. It's a dessert, berries, yes. and then a special type of cream on top. Mm -hmm. Explain that. Absolutely. So this is our coconut whipped cream. And for people who can't have dairy, like myself, mm -hmm. I really mourn the loss of my whipped cream, and especially with berries. So um, this is made with the fat, the full of fat coconut milk. You put it in the refrigerator, pull it out, turn it upside down, Take off the top, pour off the top, save that for a smoothie. And then you take the cream and you literally blend it with stevia or some kind of natural sweetener and vanilla. And voila, it wow. is amazing. What a great trick. Add a trick. little bit of peppermint to that too. You can add rock cow to yep. make a, a peppermint chocolate yummy mousse. Mm. That's what me and the kids like. Fantastic. Yeah. Now this is also dessert. Oh Yum. my goodness. So um, this lemon bread, is, we, we love to say you can have your dairy-free, sugar-free, gluten-free cake and eat it too. And with this, it's absolutely fabulous. And we have so many people ask us, how can you do desserts when it comes to people who have allergies? And what do you do about the powdered sugar? And so making your own healthy confectioner sugar using natural sweeteners is actually very easy. And that's what's topped on top with some essential oils added in with it. Fantastic. And over here, a vegetable dish. Yes, so this is our super pesto made with kale and avocado. And one of the best things about it is not only does it have essential oils in it, but it's a dip. You can use it for crackers. You can use it as a salad dressing. You can mix it with an almond cream cheese and make a dip out of it in another way. And it has so many health benefits yeah. too. It mixes great with pasta. I mean, it's very versatile. Mm -hmm. Pesto is very versatile. And speaking of pasta, yeah. <laughs> our favorite. Yes, you know, uh, being that uh, we love Italian dishes, so many people have had to go gluten free. Mm -hmm. And this is something that they would really miss out on. Yeah. And so having good, healthy, gluten free pasta, and there's lots of options made with almond flour. They have so many different options now brown rice, quinoa. And this is made with um, pine nuts and basil. And it's absolutely amazing. And you can't forget the garlic. It's like Sabrina mourning the loss of dairy. I'm Sicilian and when I found out I was gluten intolerant I had to mourn the loss of all my mom's favorites and she's a great cook and when Sabrina came up with this I'm like hallelujah oh. she has saved me and all of her holidays. Wonderful <laughs> and this is so practical for all of us yes. too because these are comfort foods yes. made healthy and what I really love about this book is you sh you talk about how you can convert regular recipes yes. you have so many of them in here yourselves but for example when you say if you want to add an essential oil instead of a dried seasoning. Yeah. How would you go about doing that? It's like one fourth, correct? Yeah, so usually, like, let's say um, a culinary recipe says a certain kind of extract, a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. You'd use one to three drops of the essential oil, and the same goes mm -hmm. for if it's a powdered or a fresh herb as well. And that's all spelled out here in yes. the book, The Essential Oils Diet. I highly recommend it. But the Zelenskis are going to be back with us right after this commercial break and show us how to make some body products that you're definitely going to want to use, so stay with us. And we're back with Eric and Sabrina Zielinski. Now we're talking about their other book, The Healing Power of Essential Oils. I love this book because these are all the recipes for things in your home and for your body, home health care, because we know that so many of the things that 
are so commercially marketed are toxic. So what are yes. you gonna show us today? Well, this is um, one of our favorite recipes, our skin healing serum. And it probably is things that you have around the house with some essential oils added, but it helps with so many different concerns. Uh, we developed this when I had gotten a terrible sunburn and um, used uh, Bragg apple cider vinegar and then this combination on it, literally within two days, no peeling and completely healed. Wonderful. So, it helps with psoriasis, it helps with eczema, it helps with cradle caps, so many things. Absolutely. Children, adults, it's very powerful. Uh, the Healing Skin Serum yes. and the recipe's yes. in here. Yes. Totally in here. So we've added the essential oils in there, which is our frankincense, lavender, chamomile, tea tree, and mm. sandalwood. They're all in here. So then we're gonna do equal parts of aloe vera gel very healing. And then we're also gonna do the equal parts of the raw organic coconut oil. You do need to melt that. I like to put it in a warm sink of water so it's completely melted because you're gonna get the antibacterial and the antifungal properties. And how much is this, two ounces of each? Uh, yes. Two ounces of each? All righty. It smells delicious. Oh, I, know. I mean, Intoxicating, really. <laughs> yes, and so you, we have the recipe is, and you can multiply it, divide it up, it, but it goes fast. So, and you're gonna blend it, and you do get a light white paste. So when you put it in there, and if you want it to stay firm, because remember, coconut oil melts anywhere between 72 and 76 degrees. So if you want it to stay firm, then you can just go ahead and put this right in your refrigerator. And that's so soothing for a sunburn. Sunburn. So, or if one of your kids have a boo yes, or a rash and, or anything. And my dad actually, this helped him um, with his skin cancer spots that were burned off. This healed all of the spots that he'd been working on with a cream for months and months. Within two weeks, all of them were healed. Really? Yes. I remember when he said, "Don't make me salt like a flower." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a man's. He's a guy's guy. Yeah. Uh, real, but I said, "No, you're, it's it's going to be worth it." And he said, <laughs> "It was worth it." Mm. Yeah, Verdad can do it. Anyone can do it. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Fabulous. Okay, so over here we have our soothing bug bite balm. Yes. Our summer our summer survival tips. What do you yes. do when you when you have bug bites? What do you do when you're trying to avoid chemicals? for sprays and all the things, right. this is your summer survival kit. Okay. So just like my grandma always used to use, we used vinegar. So apple mm -hmm. cider vinegar on the area that you get bit. And then this has five drops of peppermint, five drops of lavender. And then we're just gonna pour the rest. Do you wanna pour the rest in there, Eric? Yeah, Okay. And then we're gonna close it up. So this is what the final product looks like. Soothing bug bite so balm. Simple. It's so simple, takes a couple minutes to do, yep. and you're not putting any toxic chemicals on your body. That's it. And, and look how easy you I know, it. and the, here's the key though, because there are no preservatives, unlike the sprays that you get at the store, these, this doesn't last 12 to 15 hours. You have to apply this on your skin about every hour, hour and a half. It mm -hmm. will work, and that's mm -hmm. key. And if you know anything, all these things that last for hours and days, there's chemicals, there's surfactants that, that do that synthetically. Ah, I see. So that's what do you key. think? Mm. But the bugs Wonderful. hate it. And the we bugs love hate it. it. The bugs, bugs hate, hate it. it. Yep. Right. Yes. yes. It repels them. Fantastic. Right. So this Very is the, a, a bug spray. Yeah, it's actually one is a bug the repellent. Deep yes. Bug repellent. Yes. So this one um, is very similar. So thank you for putting all the essential oils in here. And we have three drops of citronella, three drops of eucalyptus, three drops of tea tree, three drops of peppermint, three drops of cypress, and three drops of lemon myrtle. So all of those together, and if you think about it, a lot of these do have some menthol-y type things. So we know how that feels on our bodies. Imagine being a bug, a gnat, anything, it's gonna burn them alive. So um, not that we don't wanna do all that, but we'd want them to stay away from us. So then we're, again, we're just gonna pour this right in here and put the lid on and see how quick you can do it. And these um, work fabulous and the bugs stay away from you. And one of the, the greatest things is when you use this, if you're gonna go outside and garden, is that the, the menthol things help to lower your body's temperature so you're not as hot outside. Very cooling. So it's very cooling. And, I, and that's what happened. I, I did that to start with 
and then all of a sudden it was no, nothing was biting me out there. So then it was like, oh, what other, you know, essential oils would work for bug repellent? And here we go. And it smells so good. Oh, this is wonderful. So for these and other recipes, uh, the book is The Healing Power of Essential Oils. And Eric and Sabrina Zielinski are going to be back with us to talk about one of their favorite items that they just can't live without. And you will love it too. So stay with us. So this is so exciting. It is a cooler, and I think really the most exciting thing about it is the price. You found this for a hundred bucks, and, and it does yes. so much. Right on Amazon, so it does. And you know, when we travel with our family, what we found was, what stressed us out the most was making sure that we packed good, healthy food. And to pack the cooler the morning that you left took forever. So what we would do is we found the plug-in um, cooler, which is also a warmer as well. And we would pack it during the week as we went and got everything lined up. So literally all we had to do, is put it in the car, plug it in and go. So it took so much less time because we recommend that people make a list of all the things that they need mm -hmm. on a trip. I also make a second list of the things that either your Airbnb or hotel or where you're going has to have or you need to bring them. Mm -hmm. And the third list is the things you have to pick up once you get there. So a lot of those things fit right in here. And we'll actually travel with a food suitcase if we go on an airplane and put all our dry products Checking and things in there. luggage. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we actually checked this in. So Wonderful. you can check it right in in a box. And it's yep. super easy to make your travel healthy, quick, affordable, and fun. So show how that works. It's really yeah. fascinating. Well, yeah, there's a hot switch and there's a cold switch. And whether you're trying to plug into your cigarette lighter or just a regular, just regular old plug, and we'll travel with this empty or we'll fill it up with stuff for the kids or some toys. And then we get to the grocery store, wherever we pack or, or unpack at the hotel. And the number one stressor, Lori, we get from people is like, how do I live a healthy life when I travel? And that is whether it's international or whether it's domestic, you have something like this. It's very feasible, especially for road trips. Couldn't live without it. So for people who want more information, what's your website? It's naturallivingfamily.com. Naturallivingfamily.com. And once again, the books are The Healing Power of Essential Oils and also The Essential Oils Diet. Eric and Sabrina Zielinski, what a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank you so much. And thank you for being with us for this edition of Healthy Living. We'll see you again next time.